Sis, are your babes acting up? For a three-year-old child. I'm the librarian, and I came to read. That's right, I'm roundhouse kicking your faves with some truth, okay? My favorite fucking shirt. This shirt, I, I'm going to wear it for the rest of my life, so y'all might, might as well get used to it. I love how ironic this shirt is. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop bullshit. Let's get to the motherfucking tea. Okay, we have Miss Beyonce. Beyonce! Like little mama said, we have Miss Beyonce, right? This Woo. is little mama posing as Miss Beyonce. Yes, man, we sure do. Her last on the run tour to date just happened. And as I said before, I said this in a previous video, I get my fave back. My fave is being returned to me. It's almost like receiving a delivery from online shopping. A package has returned unto me. Um, I'm so excited, girl. I don't know what you have planned. Is it B7? Is it Destiny Child? Is it nothing? Are you sitting your ass down? And I know that you can't because you're a workaholic like me. So I'm just ready to see what else is in store. And even though my bank account may not always be working, my ears do, and that's why anything that you release, I'm always excited to, to take a listen. Okay, so I'm just making sure that you know that I'm ready. All right, so let me just sit my ass down and go ahead and say this. Uh, this Aquaman trailer that had just been released, this, I said on Twitter that it, it dragged me by my little Bill Bill Dad's forehead. That's exactly what I said on Twitter. I said it. I mean, y'all already know I give you Caillou goddamn tees in the forehead. And this Aquaman trailer took it and it dragged me through the pavement. I didn't ask for that type of treatment. I didn't even think that I would get that type of treatment because if you guys know, I made a whole video talking about DC. This shit is trash. Um, this trailer that you fucking released for Aquaman, girl, it's giving me great value Wakanda type of tease. It's giving me, oh, fuck, kill a It's really giving me all types of Party City tees like Starfire's wig. I'll get on that shit a little bit later. Uh, but I had to go ahead and consume some of my words because the way that this Aquaman trailer is looking sis The first one, I don't know why it didn't really give me anything it, it to me It seemed very lackluster, but the way that they came out and that long shot where they had the chase and these lasers and shit It was everything and I'm, and I'm a little bit more excited to go see this shit now than from the time when y'all fucking first released that first trailer. It was just not the T. I don't know what else to tell you. But this extended trailer actually gave me what I desired. So I'm hoping that the movie will do that as well. Uh, Shazam, I still have no hope for that shit. It's, I mean, maybe I'm not the audience that they're probably trying to reach. It is very kiddie and shit. I'm not in that type of moment of my life. I want my movies to be just as intense as when it's time for me to pay bills. You, you see what the fuck I'm saying? I want it to be just as, you know, edge of my seat, just like when it's time for me to go ahead and pay my student loan. I'm on some grown type shit, okay? <laughs> when their bottoms, you know who to call. DL Tops! Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Teen Titans, okay, the girls have been reviewing it. I saw some mixed reviews, but for the most part, they're saying that, you know, this is very, it's filled with a lot of humor, but the violence is, is, is very intense, okay? So, the bar for me is still, like, I see the CW built ass brand that y'all have built around this Titan shit, and I'm just like, I don't know, sis, but the way that these people are talking in these reviews, I'm just a little bit more excited to see what the tea is. I'm still going to watch it. As I said, October 12th, the girls, I mean, I will be there to see Robin's ass act like he's just so, you know, teenage angst type of thing. Oh, I fuck Batman. All right, sis. Um, until it's time for the check to clear, huh? <laughs> Let me, I, I'm not even a Batman fan like that, girl. I don't even like his ass, but bitch, let's not act like, girl, Robin, sis. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> But I'm excited, and the reason why I'm very excited is because reviews came in, they said that Honest ass Miss Starfire, she was a standout. And I, I tweeted, I was like, of course. The black queen, of course, just carrying the weight of the world on her shoulders as usual, you know what I mean? And the fact that y'all also made her carry that, the weight of that tired ass wig on her shoulders as well, so disrespectful to, to not only Starfire, but the actor, sick thing ass, beautiful ass, black ass actress. I'm telling y'all to get it together. But they said that Miss Starfire served the girls exactly what she needed to serve them, and I wouldn't expect nothing. I would expect nothing less from a sick thing black queen and that's all I have to say on that I will be watching it yes goddamn man now for whatever reason if I find myself at K Michelle's house I don't know why I would be there but if I do find myself there I'm going to make sure that I knock first I want y'all to take a moment and watch this video if you haven't seen it uh, because this shit has been all over the goddamn internet if you haven't seen it <laughs> just, just take a moment to watch it Get the fuck off my porch! Get your ass off this motherfucking porch, bitch! 
To me, this video is so goddamn funny. She came and she was like, this girl thought I wouldn't be able to talk from my phone to the fucking speakers out on my goddamn door. Miss Susan walked her ass up there and started, I don't know what she was doing. What, what type of twerk was the casting agencies who were responsible for iRobot really did a disservice to themselves because they could have contacted you. I don't know how old you were at that time, but they could have contacted you for those, you know, those AI built ass movements that y'all that you called a twerk that y'all were calling a twerk and just you sis Becky sis I don't know what you were doing you were giving me all types of cyborg and I would, I just talked about Teen Titans you were giving me all types of cyborg movement with those robotic ass movements that you thought you were twerking I'm not giving as I said this ironing board built ass did you, I'm not gonna do it but K Michelle said get the fuck off my porch and that's exactly what you did you hopped your ass in that. Uh, assistant principal Bill Dash golf cart, you know, right around campus, and you took your ass from where you came. Says, I don't know what <laughs> in your right mind. I'm not gonna stand on nobody porch and twerk unless it's my goddamn friends or some shit and I'm acting a fool. You don't know this one. Get off her goddamn porch. <laughs> So Susan had that bad twerk, but this other Susan that I'm going to talk about, and I don't know her name, okay? But this other soccer mom Susan that I'm talking about, let me just, here, here. Harass people. Hey, you get know, out of here now. You know what? Do not. I don't I'm care. calling the cops. You know what? You leave these women alone. Get out. You know Go. What? You come from a uh -uh. generation. No, I do not. I have respect, and it does not matter. You, you don't harass it. people like this. You will this. lose your temper. All right. You know what? You will lose this. No, you need yes. to leave. No, you do not harass Hispanic women. Miss girl gathered the hell out of this old ass. I mean, she's constructed like a whole drooping cauliflower. She got her ass. She said, no, you do not harass. You do not harass Hispanic women. I'm escorting you out. I said, this is how you, you this is what I'm talking about. This is how you use those white powers for good and not for evil. She said, bitch, I'm gonna call the cop. Okay, she said, I'm gonna make sure I use these, make sure, bitch, make sure I use these white powers. White powers, white powers. <laughs> ah, I'm gonna make sure I use these powers for good. She, she zapped her ass on out of there. I'm, I'm the fucking white witch from fucking Chronicles of Narnia came down here on these white women. She thought that she gonna get away with that shit. And Miss, I don't know her name. She almost looks like Abby from Goddamn um, Scandal. But she was not having none of it. And that's exactly the type of energy that I want to see. That's use your power because you have it. Use your power like that, sis. Yes, ma'am. Bette Midler, okay? I should call her Bette Riddler because I can't figure out the punchline to these fucking jokes that I'm about to show you right now. Miss Midler, girl, you took your ass on the Twitter and you were just like, women are the N-word of the world. And I mean, we could have stopped right there and we could have dissected, we could have written a whole thesis paper. I mean, I'm talking about a dissertation on the disconnect when it comes to a lot of white feminists and intersectionality. Because if you're talking about women are the N-words of the world and not realizing that their whole ass black woman that exist. So you tell me women are the niggers of the world and yet there are nigger women who exist. So so what do we do about that situation? Y'all are so trapped in the bubble of your fucking privilege and ignorance that even when you think you're doing something good, it is dripping. It is dripping in your unawareness and your disconnectedness from the fucking world. Like, I can't even, and you doubled down on that shit before she, cause she did release an apology afterwards, but she was just like, oh no, it came from Yoko. Oh no, I never forgot. This is not about race. This is about the status of women and their history. Right, so and as we've said many times before, white people are the only ones who are, who have this gift of not being able to see race because they don't fucking have to. If they decide that if they want to wake up one day and say, well, I don't have to be concerned about race issues. It's true, in order to survive, you slave don't. Uh, you don't have to be aware of racial issues if you're at the top of the fucking racial totem pole. So when y'all over here trying to advocate for women 
woman, I want us to be deliberate and be aware of how we are talking about women of different races and intersectionality. Because when you're over here saying that women are the niggers of the world, it's so tone deaf, the fact that yes, girl, y'all know that this bullshit is still going on and you know that black people are being oppressed because otherwise in order to fight injustices, you wouldn't say that women are the niggers of the world. Black people a lot of times are the people who receive extreme amounts of injustice. So you know that it's the case. You know that's the problem. But then in your next tweet, you're, ju you're gonna say that it's not about race when in all actuality, the whole point of the tweet, the previous tweet that you made was based on power dynamics in race and you're trying to correlate that with white women's struggles. I wanted to bring that up because that's a huge problem when it comes to white feminism. But then she released an apology and she said, the too brief investigation of allegations against Kavanaugh infuriated me. Angrily, I tweeted without thinking my choice of words could be would be enraging to black women who doubly suffer, both by being woman and by being black. I am an ally and I stand with you. I always have and I apologize. So I just want everyone to get it together, specifically um, the majority, white women. Women are the blacks of the world when blacks of the world are still fucking suffering. Get it together, sis. I thought this was funny. Someone else who needs to get it together. I thought this was interesting because this to piece of toilet paper, whatever, is stuck to Donald Trump's shoe as he's walking onto Air Force One, number one, what that tells me is that nobody in his camp likes his ass because you gonna, you mean to tell me there was toilet paper stuck for, on your shoe all the way from the White House to the goddamn plane and nobody said nothing to your ass? That's trifling. They wanna see your ass embarrassed. Now, I like seeing Sarah Huckleberry Finn Chin Ass Sanders being embarrassed as well. Now, Aisha, this is what you said while you were at the press meeting in front of Sarah's double-decker chin-shaped head ass. President Trump talked a lot yesterday about this issue of being concerned about uh, men being guilty before uh, being thought guilty uh, before proven innocent uh, and this idea of due process, but in the past, uh, with the Central Park Five, mm -hmm. he put out uh, an ad basically calling for the death penalty before they had been found convicted, and even after they were exonerated, he still uh, basically said that they may be guilty. I guess, is there a disconnect between when the president is interested in due process for some, but not for others? I like that April Ryan was over there backing you up as well. Now, Aisha and April, thank you so much for getting y'all sickening black queen built asses inside of this circus and try to and, and try to get some goddamn answers, you know. Of course, Miss Huckleberry Chin uh, couldn't really come up with any answers that provided any details or made any sense because um, the points that Aisha and of course April brought up were were valid, but Miss Cinderblock herself could not come up with anything that was coherent, and that's not surprising to me, especially since this whole process involving confirming Kavanaugh is not fucking coherent either. So let me update you on the steps that are going to be happening as of this upcoming weekend. The procedural vote to advance Kavanaugh to conf confirmation, that shit has already gone through 51 to 49. Now, if, if it passes, which it did, there's going to be up to 30 hours of debate. Um, and if that terminology is official terminology, up to 30 hours means <laughs> that that is not a minimum, that's a maximum, so they're gonna, oh girl, y'all don't like it? Okay, well that's too damn bad he's gonna be in the goddamn Supreme Court. The next step is the final vote on confirmation for Judge Kavanaugh is likely to come on Saturday. So just keep all that bullshit in mind when you're when we're talking about November and the elections coming up. This is what this this is a type of things. These are the types of things that are at stake, okay? So this is why I'm urging everyone to make your voices. I mean, I think we have already reached some type of record or broken some type of record when it comes to people registering or making sure that they're registered to vote. So I hope that everyone will be able to use their voices November, uh, in November to make sure that we don't descend into no type of fucked up shit after this, okay? Especially after this lifetime appointment, I don't see it not going through, especially with the way this government is set up. So I hope that we can all take our asses in November to vote, okay? As we all know, the FBI did an investigation and some of these, even some um, Republican senators are coming out like, girl, this shit was not a goddamn investigation. This shit don't make no sense, you know? So I <laughs> did some shit. Them girls said this is a kangaroo court. It's some real deal shit. I hope that even some of us who don't like 
to vote or don't see the point in voting. A lot of people think it doesn't matter. I just would really urge you to see, just try it one time. Just try voting one time. If it doesn't matter so much, sis, then it shouldn't matter if you vote, right? So just go ahead and just vote. <laughs> How about that? Just vote because this is crazy. But yeah, on that note, Brett Kavanaugh's face and mindset is constructed like a dusty dining room table with three legs, no support type of tease. And that's exactly why he gets no support from me. You can have a good goddamn evening.